Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Debony and I am going to be showing you guys how I removed my skin tags. So, um, excuse my baby girl if you hear anything in the background. That's her, she's talking to her snacks. Um, but I was scrolling around on Amazon, which I do quite often every day. And I came across the BDSI mole removal pen. And I was like, what? A mole removal pen? Like, okay, it was super affordable. Let me tell you. It was less than $25 for this pen. So, I bought it, okay? The pen looks like this. It comes with a little baggie like this to put it in a travel bag. It comes with some little needles. These are the needles. Actually, I should show you this. This is the needle that I used to remove all of my moles. Oh, it also comes with a charger, instruction manual, which Sis, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time, okay? Because this does not tell you much. I'll tell you this. If you have a tattoo, if you pop your pimples, if you, um, you know, do weird sh stuff that, you know, kind of hurts but kind of doesn't, then you can do this. So, like I was saying, this pen burns the mold. That's it, it burns the mold off, okay? So the process for this is, step one, wash your face, um, exfoliate gently, and then once your face is completely dry, you're gonna take this bad boy and turn it on. Um, this particular one has nine settings. I don't know about any of the other ones that are out there, and the one that I have, I will link down below in this video, but, this one has nine settings, but if this is your first time ever trying this, I wouldn't recommend that you put it on like the like number one. I would recommend that you start at a higher up setting, and if it's something that you can't tolerate, then bump it down, you know, a level or two. Um, but don't start it off at number one because if you can't stand number one, then you're not going to be able to stand any other you know higher levels and it may even take level six or level seven to actually get the mold off so like I said for me I started mine on level seven I burned all of my moles off on level seven um, I was able to tolerate it I didn't want to go up any higher I didn't want to go any lower um, and it really really works you guys and I'm going to show you guys a demo you know here in a few minutes I'm going to add some clips in um, and also some before and after pictures add mole like moles were taking over my face like my skin is pretty clear for the most part but like the moles another reason why I, I didn't really like them as much is because whenever you put makeup on um, makeup will hide your imperfections as far as scarring and discoloration and things like that but makeup will not hide texture and I'm really glad that I did it I'm really glad that I purchased this I recommend it um, like I said wash your face really really good um, turn this on a higher setting I recommend starting on seven or eight um, and if you can't like I said stand that pain then drop it down a little bit um, and then once you've burned it off like this little needle right here you literally put it on the mold like you press it on the mold and it's going to burn it it's going to smell like burned flesh 
Um, so please be prepared for that. It's going to hurt. Um, but it's not anything that's overbearing. Like I'll, I'll insert pictures, but I had, I literally had one side of my face was so full of moles and I was able to stand having them burned all, all of them, most of them burned off in one session. Um, once you're done, um, burning off your moles, um, you will follow up with like some type of soothing skin gel. I used aloe vera soothing gel. It looks like this. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I got it from the Dollar Tree. It didn't break my face out. Um, but, you know, if there's something, you know, a little bit more bougie that you want to, you know, spend your coin on, you are more than welcome to, honey. Um, and I also used witch hazel also use witch hazel so I kind of mix them together on my face and then after that I will let it dry and you know go on by my business um one thing I will say once you burn the mole once you burn the mole honey if you are okay with walking around looking crazy until the scar falls off, it's going to leave a scar, okay? It's going to leave a scar. So, be prepared for a scab on your face for about five days, okay? I was walking around, went to work and everything. I was looking crazy. Everybody was asking me if I was all right. And yes, I'm okay, you know... Like I said, in about five days, I'm going to be a new woman. So, I was willing to sacrifice those five days of looking crazy so that I could have my baby, gorgeous, beautiful skin underneath. Okay? So, keep that in mind. Um, my skin underneath the... Okay, so underneath the, the scar... There's going to be a scar. It's going to fall off in about five days. Some people may be sooner. Don't pick at it. I mean, don't pick at it because it could leave even an even worse scar. Um, but So, be mindful of that. Um, scarring can be healed. I just want you guys to know that. Um, exfoliate after you're done, you know, about a week or two after the scab has fallen off. Just remember to exfoliate because exfoliating is going to... Um, promote the new skin growth and it's gonna kind of fade those scars away um, you know treat it kind of like it's a burn because it essentially is a burn um, but yeah I mean I hope you enjoy like I said it does hurt a little bit but if you have a tattoo if you had a baby if you pop your pimples it's not anything that's going to hurt worse than that like it's literally like it's, it's just burning off a, a top layer of your skin so you know keep that in mind and that's it <laughs>